accept and submit to the word which has been planted in you and can save your souls. James chapter 1 verse 21 Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, peace be with you. I am Friar Stephenjo. Today, November 14, 2020. Saturday of the 32nd week in Ordinary Time. And this is Daily Gospel Reading and Reflection. If you did not subscribe to this channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to regularly receive the Gospel Reading and Reflections. Let us pray. Almighty Father, strong is your justice and great is your mercy. Protect us in the burdens and challenges of life. Shield our minds from the distortion of pride and enfold our desire with the beauty of truth. Help us to become more aware of your loving design to give our lives in service to all more willingly. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 18 verses 1 to 8. Jesus told his disciples a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor regarded man. And there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, Vindicate me against my adversary. For a while he refused, but afterward he said to himself, Though I neither fear God nor regard man, yet because this widow bothers me, I will vindicate her, and she will wear me out by her continual coming. And the Lord said, Hear what the unrighteous said, and will not God vindicate his elect who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? I tell you, he will vindicate them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, Faith is the realization of what is hoped for and evidence of things not seen, says letter to the Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Faith is the foundation for a believer to remain in Christ. Whatever we do in Christianity, we do out of the conviction that Christ died for us and rose again, and he will be there with us forever. In today's gospel, Jesus told us a parable to teach us about the importance of prayer. He told us that we should pray continually and not lose heart. Prayer is an expression of our faith in Christ. In the parable we see a widow who approaches the unjust judge for her need. From his character it is evident that it is difficult to get things done with him. But the widow came to him frequently and it changed his heart and justice is done for her. The parable encourages persistent prayer. As the widow pleaded for justice, so we should persevere in faith and tirelessly petition God for our needs. It is always a requirement for us to have a prayer life. The consistency in prayer life will make us more intimate with our Heavenly Father. The model Jesus showed us was that He always prayed. He was in a constant relationship with the Father. When the time of His passion came, He asked the Father if His divine plan for our salvation was not to be changed. He submitted Himself to it ultimately. This was no easy task. Jesus agonized in prayer in the garden. But as the Holy Spirit confirmed Jesus' human mind to the Father's perfect plan, he was able to accept the cross with joy. In this regard, the Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches us, pray constantly, always and for everything, giving thanks in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God the Father. St. Paul adds, Pray at all times in the Spirit, with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18 For we have not been commanded to work, to keep watch, and to fast constantly, but it has been laid down that we are to pray without ceasing. This tireless fervor can come only from love. Against our dullness and laziness, the battle of prayer is that of humble, trusting, and persevering love. This love opens our hearts to the three enlightening and life-giving facts of faith about prayer. Catechism of the Catholic Church, 2742 Saints with their lives showed us how important it is to pray unceasingly. St. John Chrysostom, an early century church father, 
teaches like this it is possible to offer fervent prayer even while walking in public or strolling alone or seated in your pope while buying or selling or even while cooking further he said nothing is equal to prayer for what is impossible it makes possible what is difficult easy for it is impossible utterly impossible for the man who prays eagerly and invokes god ceaselessly ever to sin another church father origen says he prays without ceasing and unites prayer to works and good works to prayer only in this way can we consider as realizable the principle of praying without ceasing the prayer makes us strong and fights the war against the devil the life we live must be that of prayer each time we pray we move one step closer to god there are many unanswered prayers in our lives which made us disappointed and tempted to stop praying but jesus teaches us to seek after god in prayer continually throughout our lives sometimes after many prayers things are not going well with life and we feel like our prayers have no effect that is the moment we should examine ourselves are we praying for selfish gain or because we want to know god and his love a life of prayer brings us ever more deeply into the heart and mind of god he wants to speak to our innermost hearts about his love for us too often we reduce god's desire to a process in which we seek favors and he either grants or denies them god wants us to have a relationship with him in which we know that every prayer will be heard and answered we should expect answers to our prayers let us pray father assure us of your desire for us to know you your life your love help us expect the answer to our prayers and submit our wills to your perfect will jesus we trust in you